Okay, I'm going to now demonstrate the reaction between milk of magnesia and a weak acid, acetic acid. I'm going to put about 25 milliliters of acetic acid in two containers, two Erlenmeyer flasks. And I'm going to add about 20 drops of fennel red to each. And you can see it has a yellow color and this is consistent with an acidic solution. Fennel red is yellow in the acid range, pink in the base range, and it makes a transition from uh, yellow to orange to reddish uh, between 7.2 and 7.8. So I'm going to keep this one here as a control and add milk of magnesia, which is magnesium hydroxide, solid magnesium hydroxide uh, in equilibrium with its ions, but it's uh, very insoluble. And I'm going to add a little bit. Of course, it's a base, but it's a uh, solid base, mostly. And uh, no, no change so far. Now, initially, the solution is turbid, but if you swirl it, Long enough it clears up as the magnesium hydroxide dissolves, reacts with the acid. We'll go through the chemistry in the second part. And still there's excess acid, so it stays pink. We have excess acid and we neutralize the base. The solid dissolves by reacting with the uh, acetic acid, the hydrogen ions, and uh, you'll produce magnesium ions and water, and of course acetate. You have to be patient. Now, milk of magnesia is used to relieve constipation, but it can be also be used as a uh, antacid I don't think it's regularly used as an antacid, but um, we're trying to neutralize the acidity of the solution. So far it looks pretty much the same, so we have still excess of the acetic acid vinegar. I just use regular vinegar, 5% acetic acid. And it, if you're patient and swirl it, it, it clears up. It, it has a little turbidity. This is really a, a saturated solution of magnesium hydroxide. Very, very uh, little of it dissolves in pure water. And it forms like a suspension. I guess that's the right word. If you're impatient, you could speed up the video or jump ahead. I was going to do this with uh, hydrochloric acid. I have some 0.1 molar hydrochloric, but uh, I thought the uh, vinegar would be better because it's more accessible. You can get it at any uh, supermarket.
So if you take milk of magnesia, when it gets down into your stomach, which is about a tenth molar HCl, it will dissolve, do some neutralization, and free up magnesium ions, Mg plus 2. Now I may be just imagining, but it looks like it might be a little bit, not quite as yellow, Seems like it's starting to get near the, I guess you'd call it the equivalence point. A little bit um, reddish yellow, mostly yellow, but now it's starting to change colors, as you can see. It's good to have the control. It's definitely kind of pinkish yellow. And as I swirl it, it gets, as more of the magnesium hydroxide dissolves, it gets more, it definitely has a pink color. Now adding more of the uh, milk of magnesia, at a certain point, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, if you look at my video on fennel red, you know that uh, once you reach about 8, most of the indicator is in the conjugate base form so it doesn't really change and of course we have excess magnesium hydroxide which doesn't dissolve and you can see it's a very turbid solution okay so there you have it um, the reaction between uh, vinegar you could use uh, any acid you like and uh, milk of magnesia we've neutralized the acid with this base which is a solid uh, in equilibrium with its ions. We we'll, we'll talk about that in the next part of the video. Okay. Okay, next I'd like to go through the equations uh, for the magnesium hydroxide uh, reaction. Milk of magnesia, MOM. Uh, milk of magnesia is a suspension of magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2 take it twice in water and it's only slightly soluble and when it does dissolve whatever dissolves breaks up into magnesium ions and hydroxide ions there should be two in front of that let's put that in and uh, the KSP solubility product is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 11 and that's equal to the magnesium concentration times the hydroxide concentration squared we call 1x the other is 2x and that's 4x cubed and solving for x we get the magnesium ion concentration is x the hydroxide is 2x we can get the pOH and then the pH so the pH is uh, 10.5 slightly basic solution you can swallow this uh, get it on your mouth it won't do any damage the pH is not that high that it will do any damage uh, as I mentioned, it, it does act, uh, it's, it's, um, uh, it, it can act as, an, as a, um, a laxative, uh, and, but it also is an antacid. It acts as an antacid, that's not its primary use. Now we used uh, phenyl red, this is phenyl red and the pH range there. So the phenyl red has two forms, the acid form, which is yellow, and the conjugate base form that's uh, red. So um, that kind of gives you a little better understanding of the first part of the video. So uh, as I said, phenyl red, very easy to get and uh, very in inexpensive and it's a useful indicator. Okay, thank you for your attention. I'll see you next